All right, so what's up, internet? Aaron here, and I'm not exactly sure what channel this is going to go on, but uh, I just feel like doing a little vlog thing today, like an actual vlog. So I got up, um, I just got out of bed, and I thought about doing this to myself yesterday, so I walked into the room where the camera happens to be, and I'm like, eh, I'll do it. So that's what I'm going to do, but I actually just got out of bed, so I gotta do like the whole morning routine, which is, you know, bathroom related, so I'm gonna go ahead and handle that, and, uh, you know, do my day. Alright, done with that. Got, uh, YouTube on the TV right now. My tech, my, my text, my phone going off. So I'm gonna go slap some clothes on. I'm gonna do my uh, my workout routine and and keep doing this vlog thing. All right, cool. So this might be getting a little bit too personal for you know something like a little vlog, but whatever. I want to say it because I'm sure it applies to some other people as well. I've recently started like actually working out, like actively trying to improve myself get into shape because I've honestly never really been in shape my whole life and the aromas that have started to escape from my body have been quite shocking so um, I basically work out and then shower and then continue on with my day it's been I don't know it's crazy to me um, before because I would sweat you know whether it be hot or out doing some things but honestly, like, my diet hasn't really changed much. I mean, if anything, it, it, it's improved a little bit. I'm eating more greens and salad. And as I've aged, I've started eating a lot more vegetables. But, man, real sweat like this, like, you're burning through from, you know, your body doesn't want to know that. It really brings out some, some gnarly, but the... I'm going to go ahead and, and do my little daily work out here and got some more stuff to do. Yes, unfortunately space is limited so I, uh, I have to work out in the studio. But it works. You're so obsessed with being in here with me. Arm circles. Yeah. Most of the stuff is on the floor. Not today. Actually, there is quite a bit that's all. This is, this, this is what I'm doing. Arms up. Gonna hug my knees. Yes, Morpheus, I'm in here doing things. Just a bit more. That does not mean it's playtime. What's wild to me is that these stretches, I haven't really. You know. I worked out in a long, long, long time. Just these stretches really get it going. Forward lunge with twist. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Go! Just hang in there. Oh, I'm hanging in there. Squat. Yeah, I can flat foot squat. Not bad for a fat white guy. Another thing I've only been able to do since the motorcycle accident. Not much, but it's something. All right, so this is literally only day five of me working out. And honestly, before all this, I could barely do push-ups. Still really can't do sit-ups anymore. <laughs> Still shockingly flexible for my size and 
fact that I'm not in shape, but that doesn't really do much. Um, yeah, day five done. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then continue on with this, whatever the f this thing is. All right, I'm out the shower, fully clothed now. You're welcome. And we're gonna go ahead. We, I'm gonna go ahead. Check out this print. See how that turned out. And then I'm gonna film an episode of the podcast in the studio. Now, thinking about it, um, y'all have, haven't really gotten much of a behind the scenes about what I do as such. So you're probably shocked at the mess. Well, yeah, it's a mess. We're going through some stuff out there. Don't have a lot of room, don't have a lot of ways to organize. Um, and everything's just kind of up in the air all the time around here in terms of like placement of stuff and things. So, now we have family staying here um, currently. So, it's been a little hectic, uh, to be honest, but hasn't been bad, it's been good. And, uh, yeah, it's a mess in here. I've got some products over there that's gonna be going on for a convention that I'm attending in October called R2V2. Don't have all the details on that yet still, but I will be there to some capacity. I should have a booth um, and I'll have some printed things to sell. Um, possibly some other knickknacks and things, maybe even some used hardware to sell. Um, and I'll be have it. I'll have at the very least my PC there, um, so we can. Well, I want to host like a VR experience there. So um, got a lot going on for that, and I feel like that's going to be pretty dope. So. Yeah, it, it's a mess, but my life is a mess, and I'm okay with it. Am I okay with the mess all the time? No, but ADHD and creative minds just can be messy, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that print out of there. You can check it out with me, and then I'm going to film an episode of the podcast that I haven't touched in almost two years. about this damn Spider-Man bus, but it just never wants to cooperate with me. This is the third one that I've tried to print. <sighs> the head's all kind of nook. There, this is all messed up. Here's a super crazy thing. And the Tesla Model Y. It's built on the same platform as the Model This Venom printed successfully bigger, in one go. And pretty much instantly has rocketed up to the top of the lineup to the point where it's now the most popular. And the ex and the extra extra stupid thing is the settings that I did for the Venom one, I set exactly the same, did it the exact same style with this Spidey one. And it just doesn't want to come out. But thankfully this is for a friend. 
who wanted to get into uh, painting models and stuff. So these will be nice little test beds for them. The little platform for this turned out pretty great. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to try to fix those damn settings. Not fix, but change those damn settings. And he now has two Spidey busts. Courtesy of Photos Mint to play with before he gets on to the Venom bus which he's going to want to actually do nice and maybe I can get this damn thing to come out if not well he's got plenty of fun times to have with what was already there but first kind of set up ready to go gonna go ahead and film that podcast and uh, do that and then edit that actually no I'll, I'll figure it out you'll you'll see one hour later all right just finished recording the podcast got all that done you already saw so now i'm gonna go ahead and sit down and edit this bad boy and i guess bring you along for the process oh yeah First, I need to redo that Spidey print. Making it bigger as well. Just transferring the file to the machine right now. All right, machine's going. Now I'm gonna edit the video. Okay, so I don't know how, but there's a lot of buzz in it. So now I gotta try to process the audio. So I don't have all of the tools within the, the video editor to do it. So now I gotta export it as an audio file and then try to uh, cut out all of the fuzz this is nice. so it's got a six point cage with low which is annoying I don't even know how or why it happened but it's just more work for me kind of frustrating when you run into an issue that you do nothing about so let's see what I can do here and as you know a podcast so the audio quality is of paramount importance. Alright, I think I got most of it. It's not perfect, it's not beautiful, but it'll work. I gotta figure out what caused that problem so it doesn't happen again. There's just this buzz I was going through the whole thing and I have no idea what it was. There wasn't anything going. I mean, yes, you can hear the AC running right now, but it doesn't really come through. Those mics are really good. I just, I don't know. It's kind of frustrating, but I cleaned it up as much as I could. And now I just got to sync it up and hope it works. This is regularly what I do. Now the whole grabbing content to add to videos, not really all of my stuff is original, except for this. I do have permission from LNL Research to use these clips in the videos. Uh, so this isn't something I normally do, and the audio repairs isn't something I usually do because my setup in there is pretty good and very reliable, uh, but I guess just not today. So. Yeah. The one time I decided to do a vlog about what I do during the day, things get a little crazy. 
So I guess it's kind of cool. You get to see a little bit more. Obviously, I'm speeding through all of this, so you don't see everything, but... This is what I do. some issues with the print uh, goofed just gonna monitor that on the side here look there's a kitty say hi Morp nope Morp hi so that's going to be the end of this vlog. Got to see a little bit of what I do here on the regular. I'm kind of going through the, like, listen through the video, make sure everything was edited nice and all that. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves, getting a little bit of behind the scenes of what I do here. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see you next week somewhere, whether it be here or any of the other channels that are going to be in the description. And keep an eye out if you're into uh, growing your life, being happier, healthier, and a more spiritual being, and, and being the positive growth that we all really need on this planet and in the universe, check out the Rawcast. That was one of the most intensive editing sessions I've had in a while, minus the interview with the movie director on uh, the other podcast. He tried to yoink the camera away from me. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. All right, y'all. We'll see you later. Peace.